Montreal always had a skateboarding scene since the 60s, which a lot of people don't realize, but I think Montreal has one of the most hardcore skateboarding scenes in all of Canada. When there's a few guys here, they come out and they give tickets to the kids who stay here on here. They are coming by there, by there. When the people are not capable of having control over something, il faut qu'ils soient intolérants par rapport à ça, parce que là, c'est pas normal. Quand t'es pas capable d'avoir du contrôle, là, non, ça marche plus. Là. I've done some time in prison for skating in the metro. I was actually a, a minor, and I got sent to an adult holding cell. The pipe is just like a tunnel that was built for the athletes to run through or to get to the... J'ai entendu dire que c'est la première halfpipe au monde. It's just mind blowing how perfect it is for skateboarding, but it was like just like a tunnel that was shaped like a whistle, you know, in the spirit in the Olympics. It's just this tunnel, there's something about it. A lot of energy, a lot of a lot of good vibes, good sanctuary to go and skateboard. And that was beautiful. It was symmetrically perfect. Every once in a while I take a good slam, it kind of humbles you how crazy this spot is to this day. It's scary. 30 years ago today, Montreal welcomed the world as host of the 1976 Summer Olympic Games. We're not only celebrating its 30th year, but having to uh, lose the pipe to a, a soccer stadium that they're going to put up here. The new soccer stadium plan for Montreal's impact could come at the expense of a skateboard park known as one of the best skateboard destinations on the globe. Chances are that we can save the pipe are uh, pretty slim. We'll uh, express our uh, voice and put up a fight. The city would be nuts to get rid of this place. Nous étions juste curieux de savoir si la structure serait